Okay, I'm here with uh, Matt Jensen from MJ Bell. How are you, Matt? Very well, thanks, Neil. So Matt is a CFO advisory customer, and he's the CEO and owner of MJ Bale. Matt, would you like to take a minute to just summarise your vision for MJ Bale and, and what it, what you offer to your customers? Sure. We're a menswear uh, clothing business, and uh, we started two years ago. I originally founded the uh, herringbone business that I, that I started in 1997, built it up over 10 years. We've subsequently sold that business and this is the next business I wanted to create after that. And we've been going for two years, we've had some private investment that we raised capital two years ago and uh, now we've got four retail stores, an online store, we're working through David Jones, distributing our shirts, ties and uh, suiting from, from this summer and uh, looking to grow to be the dominant player in Australian menswear over the next two years. Great. So we've been uh, working together for a few years now. We started by you asking me to help you uh, finish your five-year business model. Um, you you're in startup mode at the time. Um, did you get value from that experience? Look, I, I would say that we had tremendous value from Neil. I mean, so much so that Neil actually now holds a seat on our um, advisory board in the business clearly providing a, uh, a great financial perspective on, at that board level. But Neil brings more than that to this business. I think he's got a real uh, sense of entrepreneurialism and what entrepreneurs go through in building businesses and can add value in not just a financial way but also in the, the, um, the marketing and growth of businesses. Thanks, Matt. Now we also uh, recently made the decision to outsource our bookkeeping um, to a company that's based in both here in Australia and in India. Just from your perspective, how, how's that how's that tracking? I'm actually amazed at how well the outsourcing process has gone. We went from a situation of having a, a part-time bookkeeper in the business two to three days a week, which was which was good whilst we were smaller, but with the pace of growth that we've achieved, we've, we've more than doubled revenues in the last 12 months, and we're looking to double those revenues again in the next 12 months. Uh, we were just capped out with in terms of what local uh, uh, accounts functionality could provide for us. So the outsource model into India has, has outperformed what I think we needed to, sorry, my expectations of it. And the turnaround time and the efficiency and the real time information that we get from that is, is fantastic. One of the other things that we've, we've both worked together on in getting right as the business is growing is your stock control. Mm. Um, are you happy with what we've, we've done in that area as well? Sure, yeah, very good, good question. I mean, the, the key drivers in our business are return on our stock, return on our rents and return on our people. And uh, I, I think now having a uh, strong character like Neil at the table and providing rigorous uh, insights into getting a return on that stock uh, has, has really enabled us to free up cash flow and manage that stock position. Thanks, Matt. Now, maybe I should just finish by just asking you whether CFO, CFO Advisory has, has met your uh, expectations. Yeah, absolutely. I mean, I, I think the results speak for themselves, as I said before. Yep. Neil's now a, a, strong, um, a strong character in our business, a, a strong investor in our business, and uh, looking forward to growing things further with him over the next few years. Okay, as am I. And why don't we finish by just uh, you plugging MJ Bale and telling uh, telling uh, customers where they can find your great products. Oh, look, if you want to be wearing the best clothes in Australia, then you need to go to mjbale.com or to one of our stores in Sydney and uh, Brisbane or into David Jones. Um, most of the stores have them. Definitely ask for MJ Bale. Great. Thanks for your time, Matt. Thanks, Neil.